If you are the parent of a high schooler who is not going to go to college and you don't have any idea how to help your child figure out what they're gonna do after high school, this is for you. These are the five degree-free pathways. Pathway number one, get a job, literally any job. A new study from the Burning Glass Institute found that half of college graduates, over half actually, are underemployed. One in four of them are making less than 32K. It is not difficult to beat that wage. In a first job, in an initial entry level working at a gas station job. Also, it is underrated to work at a company and just work your way up. My sister started working at a gas station when she first graduated high school and within six months was already a shift supervisor because she just was on time and did her work. Underrated. But if your child wants to get into a certain type of field, then that's the way to do it too. Go get an entry level job at a radio station if you want to work in media. Have them apply for jobs that they think they're unqualified for, but if they, get the sh if they get a shot and they get a chance, are going to help them build the skills and connections and network, because that's actually where you get your jobs from, that will help them get to where they want to go. That is vastly more useful than burning five and a half years and $100,000 on a bachelor's degree that they're not going to use or want four years from now, or five and a half years from now. I say five and a half because that's how long it takes most graduates to graduate. Degree free pathway number two is find on the job training or apprenticeship. This you're going to literally use Google and look up on the job training or apprenticeships that are paid in your area and then see which one interests your child. If they don't know what they want to do, then looking at different options that will pay them to learn may help them figure out which direction that they would like to take. When I'm working one-on-one -on -one clients to make their custom career roadmaps, usually the first thing I do is try to find on-the-job training or apprenticeship in their area. And you don't necessarily have to find a formal apprenticeship or on-the-job training listing. If you find a company that your child wants to work for, you can also encourage your child or you, the, you yourself can call the business and ask if they're willing to take your child on as an entry-level minimum wage employee to teach them or just to teach them for free in exchange for them helping. And so they can learn, get references again, and network. An underrated hack here is if you do this at a small business, what is happening because so many so many baby boomers, kids do not want their businesses, there's going to be a massive transfer of these small businesses and getting your child into a small business may leave them room to eventually offer to take the business over in exchange for profit sharing or some sort of monthly payout to the owner because they don't have retirement plans and they have no way to stop working unless someone takes their business over, continues to run it, and then pays them for the fact that they built the business. So that's an out of the box way that I call that building your own apprenticeship. That's, that's what we call it at Degree Free. We call it build your own apprenticeship, BYOA. And you can do that too. As we say on the podcast, there are no rules. There's only what works. Also, this is not just trades anymore. This is also tech companies, Bank of America, IBM, Accenture, all massive, massive, massive companies are now offering apprenticeships because this is a better way to train people and they turn over less. And because there's less churn, they're a better investment for the company. So look for those too. Degree three pathway number three is earning a license or certification. This could be anything from a notary to a drone pilot to an actual pilot to a captain. Midwives in 28 states can earn licenses to practice their craft. But these can also be tech certifications like cybersecurity or administration. Again, many of them paying much, much more than the median college graduate makes. So look at those, give those some thought, and see if the upfront investment is worth it for your child given what they want to do, or if any of them interest them enough for them to actually want to try them. All of them are going, aside from pilot, is going to cost you less than a college degree. Actually, even flight school can cost $100,000, which is less than $104,000, which is the average that you're going to pay for a bachelor's degree. So keep that in mind. I know you're thinking, whoa, 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 my kid's not an entrepreneur. But if your child walks around, knocks on doors and says, hey, I'll power wash your driveway, and they're charging 200 bucks a pop, and they do that in multiple different neighborhoods, and they start making $10,000 a month, your kid's an entrepreneur. It's also really simple to do that. That type of services-based business is actually just building a job for yourself, and that is entrepreneurship. It's one of the simplest ways to become a business owner. Do they have to save for taxes? Do they have to eventually figure out their health care when they turn 26? Yes, they do. But if they build their business and they get to the point where they're making money and now they have people under them who are doing the exact same thing, and they're just doing it in multiple different places more than they were, and that's how they grow their business, they're going to have a successful business. But anyway, it's an option. There's also a tech aspect to that. So if they learn design and they start doing graphic design online and they start on Fiverr or they start freelancing, that's a completely valid way to have a career. Most of the US workforce is projected to be freelancers or contract workers by 2030 anyway. They need to know that that's an option and they need to know the difference between W2 and 1099. That's something I go over with all the kids in my launch program because I think it's so important for them to understand they might one day want to have that option. Pathway number five is learn a skill. 
That can be anything, coding, carpentry. Learning a skill will help your child get further ahead than they are now because it will allow them to get further ahead, more experience, more network, more proof that they can actually do whatever skill they've learned than people who are in college because they will actually be doing the skill full time. Just teaching, just learning, just making mistakes. And that is a completely valid way to spend their time after they graduate high school. This pathway can also lead into pathway number one, which is get a job, or pathway number four, which is build a business. That's great. The thing I wanna drive home is your child does not have to ask permission. Your child does need to ask. They need to explore, they need to look for different opportunities. You do not have to buy paper from a college to be successful. You do not have to buy paper from a college to be educated. You do not have to buy paper from a college in order to do anything aside from literally cutting people open. Sorry, I can't help with medical school. If your child is not going to buy a college degree and you're trying to figure out how to help them navigate their options or just figure out what direction they are going to walk after high school and you want help one-on-one, -on -one, I do that. You can apply it for that in the link in my bio. I'm also working on a guide that will help you go through conversations to narrow down what they want. It's gonna be a free download that you can get. You can sign up for that there too. But please go over these pathways with them. Just let them know that there are very clear paths. There are very clear directions for them. It's not college or nothing. It's college or literally everything else. But there are clear delineations. There are five clear ways that they can go in the everywhere else direction. And they do not have to feel lost or like they're out in the wind and everybody else is doing something. So I hope that helps.